In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Paperbell. Paperbell is an all-in-one platform designed to help coaches streamline their businesses, specifically on the tech side. Paperbell has a range of features that I'm going to go through and share my thoughts at the end. If you have any questions about Paperbell, I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours, and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I'll keep updated so you always get your money's worth. Here we are inside Paperbell. Let's start off with exploring the dashboard. I really like the simplicity of it. You've got your core menu here and then you have two buttons for your appointments. Also the first thing that you'll see when you log in all of your upcoming appointments so it's straight to the point. There's also another navigation here where you can trigger between past appointments and upcoming. I would like to see that a little bit more prominent. Now we'll go through the ins and outs shortly but I just want to quickly show you all the other features. So we also have availability and this is what it will look like for your client. Really clean, sleek and pretty modern. Under packages this is where you set up all of your payment plans and then you have a little bit of a CRM system where all of your clients are under client. Just like a traditional CRM system, each client has all of their information in the system and then all of the other information that you need, like all the appointments, all the packages they're part of, the contracts that they've signed, any surveys they've done, any in-house notes, and then all of the past email communication. And then finally, your sales tab which is where it will show all of the sales that have been made within your business. We're going to start off with packages. So to create a new package, go ahead and click create new and you'll have a choice. You can either select one-time payment or subscription. We're going to go ahead and do subscription, name it, and then you would customize how many appointments per month. So let's say four appointments a month, which is one a week. And then duration of each appointment is let's say 20 minutes. You can then decide if you want your client to be able to book an appointment before purchasing or book an appointment after purchasing and you can also add a thank you page for a redirect to a custom URL. You can make this exclusive by making it invite only or keep it active and if you don't want this to be purchased on your shop page you can do pause. If you can only handle so many clients at once you can enable the purchase limit and then this will limit how many times someone can purchase the package. You can also set an expiry date but we're just going to leave it like so and do save. Then you'll start customizing all of your payment plans will allow you to integrate Stripe or PayPal which are the two main payment gateways that you want to be able to int integrate. You would just say how much per month, so let's say £2,000 per month, and then a setup fee of let's say £450. You can do save, and then if you've not integrated Stripe, this is what it will say, and then you can go click modify partner, and then you can start adding your Stripe integration just by doing connect or create a Stripe account. Now I'm not going to connect this, but that's how you do it. To create PayPal, you just enter your PayPal email. Once you've finished off modifying the package, you then redirect it to the package contents and then you can start customizing it. You can change the pricing. You can even create a custom landing page. So if we open this landing page up, this is what it looks like. You can add people to group sessions by doing add session, selecting a date, let's say this date and then the time and the duration 50 minutes and then do save. Now it's got a group session. You can add all your surveys in, just like so. You can upload your own digital contracts, which they can then sign and it's stored in that area. Another cool thing about the software is that it allows you to do automated emails and then you can set triggers based on what's happening. So if they've made an appointment, you can send one email. If they've purchased, you can send another email. And if there's a final appointment, you can also send another email. You can schedule the timings however early you want it to go out. And it even uses dynamic information. So these little tags here will pre-populate the email with the client's information. So you don't need to manually create a new email every time. If you have personalized content, you can actually add your own files or videos into their login area and that can be embedded directly from YouTube, Vimeo or Loom. And then you can set it so they can only access it after a purchase or after a fixed date. If you have your own website, you can actually embed this calendar into your own website by using embed code. Or if you want to preview the package page and see it here, the checkout page. And then if it's a client logging into their private portal, this is what they'll be able to see. Moving on to the client section, it would be nice to be able to import existing clients, but to add a client's pretty simple. You can 
can do add client, fill in some basic information and then do save. And now all your clients are listed in this one area and then you can search accordingly. There you go. Now that we've gone back to our dashboard under appointment, we create an appointment before and it's showing up for us. Under the availability tab, we can go ahead and do edit settings and then you can directly link with your Google Calendar so there's never any clashing with the system. If you go under schedule settings, you can actually include a custom URL, whether that's a live Zoom call or a Google Meet link or anything those lines, you can actually include that so they've always got access as soon as the appointment starts. You can then set your default appointment settings and that also includes the group settings as well. So you can do it in start time increments of 15 minutes, 30 minutes or one hour. And then you can leave, always make sure there's an appointment gap of at least X amount of minutes. You can say how much notice clients need before they can book an appointment with you and then how far in advance you'll allow appointments to go before you cut it off. If you want to add extra availability to your calendar under the availability tab, just go ahead and click add availability and you can set the start time, the end time. And then if you want this to be repeat every, let's say three weeks on every Tuesday and Friday, and then you want it to be just for VIP package and press save. That will automatically publish. And there we have it in the date that we've got those booking. So the big two questions are, what do I actually think of Paperbell? And would I recommend Paperbell? Paperbell to a friend. Paperbell made the entire booking process extremely simplistic. Of course, there's a few things that can be improved, but they're pretty minor. Some of the things I think could be improved are under the appointments tab between the upcoming and past toggle feature can be a little clearer. I also think for clients to have an import feature would be really handy. And also the ability to add in custom fields as well would be the icing on the cake. Moving on to more of the positive stuff, they've made it extremely simplistic, which means that anyone, no matter how tech savvy you are, can basically jump in to this software and within, I'll say 15 minutes to half an hour, you could probably be up and running and sending your link out to clients. All the core features, what most coaches want are in paper belt. You've got your contract, you've got your email sendings, you've got your CRM side of the software. This is ultimately everything you actually need to run a business and keep everything centralized. And I think that's really handy to have. Overall, I think Paperbell have done a fantastic job and would I recommend them to a friend? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.